Once the home inspection is over, you should receive a written inspection report in summary, either electronically or in hard copy within three business days or other time frame negotiated between you and your inspector. The report's purpose is threefold. First, it gives you, the buyer, an understanding of the home you are about to purchase. It includes general descriptive information a homeowner needs to know, such as roof covering materials, energy sources, and heating and cooling equipment and distribution type. Second, it includes reporting on the home's main systems and components, what does not work, what appears not to work, and items that may be a safety concern. And third, the report provides useful information for items requiring periodic or occasional homeowner maintenance or operation, such as the location of the main water supply cutoff valve, electrical panels, and air filters. The inspection report provides you an overview of the home's condition and its systems and components at the time of the inspection. Do keep in mind, the report is not a warranty of any item, nor is it a guarantee of future performance. As required by North Carolina standards of practice, the inspection report must describe the home systems and components, any defects, the implication of defects, and provide direction to the client. This method of reporting is known as DDID. Describe, determine, implication, direction. Here's an example of what that means. Let's say your inspector found a hole in the roof. Per SOP reporting requirements, the inspector will first describe the roof system, roof covering, and framing descriptions of asphalt shingles or wood trusses. He or she will then determine that there is a hole in the roof that appears not to be effective against keeping the weather out, perhaps evidenced by water stained or discolored wood, although it's not actually raining at the time of inspection. The implication or consequence is that water will enter the home when it rains, soak insulation, and rot wood. Finally, inspectors will provide you direction, such as a recommendation to have a roofing contractor evaluate in order to estimate repair costs. When you go into describing something in that terminology, you end up with a lot of writing there. Sometimes that can take a very simple, easy repair and make it look like it's a very costly, expensive repair. Perfect example is handrails. If you've got handrails and staircases, the ends of the handrails should return back to the wall. And the reason for that being is when it doesn't return back to the wall, somebody coming down the stairs or up the stairs, their clothing, their pocketbook can get caught on the end of that handrail and they can fall down the staircase as a result of that. The repair to return the handrail to the wall is not a difficult, in the vast majority of the time, not a difficult repair, not a costly repair. Safety issues, as well as any item or component that does not or appears not to be working as intended at the time of the inspection, will be identified using this DDID formula. Each of these items will be addressed in the summary. What should come in the summary of the report is anything at all that's in need of repair, anything that's not functioning as intended, anything that might adversely affect the habitability of the dwelling, although I'm really not doing a health inspection, uh, and anything at all that might need further evaluation by a specialist. Per North Carolina General Statute, please note that the summary is not the entire report. The complete report may include additional information of interest or concern to you. It is strongly recommended that you promptly read the complete report. For information regarding the negotiability of any item in the report under the real estate purchase contract, contact your North Carolina real estate agent or an attorney. One of the things I learned a long, long time ago from a gentleman who helped me when I first got started in this business is he, he said to me, he goes, he said, just be honest to the house and everything else will fall in place. Our homes, more than stucco, wood, and vinyl, they're where we create our lives. While not everything may be right about the home you just had inspected, the home may still be just right for you.